Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So in this episode we have to analyze the Bitcoin price because this pullback that we have seen brought us down towards $30,000 again. We are getting some support here so let's analyze if we should expect a continuation to the upside or if the rally already ended here and we should expect to re uh, visit the low 20s. And then of course we're gonna have a look into Ethereum and at the end also into the US dollar index and Nasdaq. So this video is brought to you by Binance. Here you can trade all the cryptos that you want up to 100x leverage. You of course can also just park your cryptos and get some very nice API because here we have a earn feature where you can get some passive income. Then of course you can also trade NFTs and way more things you can do here. If you want to know all the features of Binance then watch the video tutorials that are popping up at the end of this video. And if you have some spare time check out this channel that is linked in the video description because here we show you how we are cooking in Switzerland especially if you like some Lemurex then you can for example watch this video and get some very nice uh, recipes so now my friends let's dive here straight into the four hour time frame for Bitcoin because the bad thing with this pullback is that we're trading again below the EMA ribbons and below the median line of the Keltner channels which are here at around thirty thousand five hundred dollars we are about to get a buy signal since we are quite oversold after this little pullback that we got here. So if Bitcoin can recover back above $30,500, it's very likely that we're coming up again to retest the 200 moving average, which for now is holding as a strong resistance. And if we're able to have four hour closes above the 200 moving average, so above $32,000, it's very likely that we are going to see continuation to the upside towards our bullish target of around $36,000. But if Bitcoin is not able to recover here, it's very, very likely that we are coming down again to revisit the $28,000 area. And if uh, we are not getting supported there, it's very likely that we are coming down again to test again the lows that we created at around $25,000 and then most likely also come down towards the low 20s. So if we switch over into the daily time frame, you can see that we are trading again below the median line of the Keltner channels, which is bearish. But the good thing is that we didn't see a close below the 20 daily moving average. For now, we are bouncing from it. And that is, of course, extremely healthy. If we are not getting supported by the 20 daily moving average anymore, then it's very likely that we're coming down to retest this previous resistance trend line, which now should be acting as a new support at $28,700. And if this one is not getting... Uh, hold then of course it's very likely that we are crashing all the way back down towards the bottom of the Keltner channels at $28,000 and probably even uh, fall way lower so that's why this uh, bounce and this breather that in my opinion could come in the next coming hours is very very important and we should expect uh, again daily closes above the media line of the Keltner channels otherwise this uh, little pump that we have seen in the last couple of days was just a fake out and that we will continue the corrective phase probably down below $30,000 again and at the end this can of course lead into our bearish target which is still down here at the 200 weekly moving average at around $22,000. So the weekly time frame in theory is still looking bearish but since we are quite oversold and the buy signal could appear anytime soon it is possible of course that this is just the beginning of a nice rally up towards 36 to maybe even $48,000 but as long as we don't have an uptrend in the 4 hour and daily time frame we should expect at any time big continuations to the downside towards the 200 weekly moving average and probably there find a clear bottom and that the bottom maybe is not in yet at around $25,000. So I still expect that Bitcoin could fall at any time again down towards $25,000 to $22,000. But if a local bottom is in, a nice relief rally towards thirty-six k, maybe even up towards $48,000 is possible before we definitely complete this bear market because usually Bitcoin is bottoming out at the 200 weekly moving average and so far we didn't come down to test it and wherever Bitcoin is going of course all the Ethereum will follow also here we are seeing a nice little breather out of the bottom of the Keltner channels in the weekly time frame 
if here we are going to fail to get supported at $1,800, it's very likely that also Ethereum could test the 200 weekly moving average and that one is here at $1,200. But if Bitcoin is getting a relief rally, it's possible that also here Ethereum could have a fast recovery up to test here the median line of the Keltner channels at $2,700 and maybe even test the top of the Keltner channels at $3,500. But that is really only if Bitcoin is strong enough to have a relief rally even up towards $48,000. Uh, before eventually we come back down and test the 200 weekly moving average finally so this is in my opinion uh, the targets uh, for the next coming days and weeks also for ethereum and the reason why we could get that huge relief rally in my opinion is because of the dxy as you can see we are looking quite toppy here in the weekly time frame we are starting to consolidate back into the Keltner channels and in the past that was always a signal that we are finding a local top and that we are entering into a corrective phase and we should expect the opposite in the crypto and stock market if the US dollar index here is starting a corrective phase because in the daily time frame you can see that currently we're getting again rejected from this resistance trend line this acted in the past also as a strong resistance trend line and also from the median line of the Keltner channels. So if this buy signal is not strong enough to put the DXY back into an uptrend with higher highs and higher lows, then in my opinion here we're topping out and we most likely are entering into a corrective phase and that could lead of course into a nice run up both in the crypto and stock market. Because also here over on Nasdaq you can see that we are getting supported currently from the median line of the Keltner channels in the daily time frame and if here we're starting an uptrend it's very very likely that we're going to see exactly the same thing also over in the crypto market market especially for Bitcoin. So Nasdaq in my opinion is still looking bullish. We should expect a continuation to the upside. A buy signal is also flashing here and if Nasdaq is pushing higher and higher in the next coming days and weeks then we should expect the same thing also for Bitcoin. Doesn't matter uh, how bad the chart is looking like because currently we are not in an uptrend, not in the daily time frame, not in the four hour time frame. We need to see first in the lower time frames a nice uptrend especially here in the four hour. We need four hour closes above the 200 moving average then we can expect a nice uh, run up towards our bullish targets first 36k and then $48,000 if we are strong enough and of course if the DXY is having a bigger pullback than expected all right my friends and with that said I'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel I do daily TA videos check out all the referral links that you find in the video description because with all of them you will get some extra bonus and check out this channel where me and my girlfriend are showing you how we are cooking in Switzerland and of course you can find some nice recipes for example those nice pancakes or lumrex so definitely try it out at home as well so thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye